As you run into the ocean at the Jersey Shore this summer, you might find yourself sharing the water with an unwelcome visitor. I was scanning the whole area looking for something interesting, and I saw this jellyfish swimming. So Jerry Meany, who walks along the beach every day, took out his camera and started recording. I saw it come up, it surfaced, broke the water a little bit, and then went down again and kept swimming back to the same spot over and over again. It was October, yeah, maybe the 20th, 21st when I saw him. And uh, then a week or two later, I found the other one in Bayhead on the beach. Jerry's video of a suspected box jellyfish went viral and caught the attention of Montclair State University biologist, right, Professor right. Jack Gaynor. This is one of the first ones that we've ever seen. I was shocked, uh, quite frankly. In fact, when I was first told that a box jelly was spotted, I assumed it was just a hoax. To confirm what Jerry and others found at the Jersey Shore, here's one of two samples that was brought to Montclair State University for further analysis. After four months of testing, results confirmed this creature is a box jellyfish. It doesn't really belong here because it's a tropical species. It loves warm water. So what it was doing off the coast of New Jersey uh, in October and November of last year is a big mystery to all of us. Not only that, the box jellyfish is more dangerous than the native jellyfish here in New Jersey. The venom is much more potent. The stings from this particular jellyfish uh, have actually hospitalized people. This isn't something Jerry, also the captain of the first aid and emergency squad in Point Pleasant, wants to hear. I'm concerned about what we're going to be facing uh, with people in the ocean. If all of a sudden we have a, uh, a poisonous jellyfish that technically could be deadly poisonous. 